always love using the natural world to teach. Because classroom teaching is wonderful and is great, but if you get the kids outside so they can touch and feel something, they connect with it. If they connect with it, they want to learn more about it. If they want to learn more about it, they want to conserve it. So you know, teach the kids, get them interested, save the world, that kind of thing. My name is Michael Romano, and I'm an EcoBus educator for the city of Greensboro. It's basically an educational endeavor by the city of Greensboro. This used to be a bookmobile that was run by the libraries of Greensboro. So the city got it and decided to turn it into an environmental education kind of project. They brought me on almost two years ago to kind of go in, modify a thing, a few things. Me and some of the, my compatriots here at the lake have basically uh, renovated and built a lot of new exhibits in it. So it, and we try to constantly change it so it's new, it's different, and it's innovative. And basically we can go out into the community to go to libraries, events, schools, anybody who wants to learn and can't come to us, we go to them and bring environmental education everywhere. So basically what we try to teach with the EcoBus is a variety of different programs. We try to make sure they're all uh, right alongside the core standards of some of the schools. So if they're learning on, say, plants or animals, we can go right in and also supply some of those necessary requirements. So I've got a list of programs that they can pick from between paleontology to reptiles to you know fish, plants, native stuff, exotics, all that kind of fun stuff. And they pick what they like and we kind of tailor make a program just to that age group, the, the kids, what they're learning and kind of go right in. And sometimes when we go to like different events and whatnot, we just do an open house program where we basically open the bus up and people come in and they enjoy the exhibits, they get to learn, we answer all their questions, they see the animals, and it's just a big fun educational experience with no definite direction because it's an open house. They come in and they stay on the bus as long as they want, see this, learn about that, and then they, on their way. Good evening, everyone. As you can see, it's a little dark outside because we're at Friendly Shopping Center in the middle of the hustle and bustle at the EcoBus. This bus is so cool. I've been waiting for months to get on it so I can see the cool things on it. Hopefully in a few minutes, I'll get a chance to show you a couple of things on this bus. But I'm here with Julia. Hi, are you, Julia? I'm good. How are you? Good. I see you're holding someone. Yeah. He looks very um, interesting. Yes, this is. Could you tell us this a little is about a, it? a black rat snake, native to North Carolina. Probably lives in your backyard, and he loves the attention. Honestly, you know, he stays warm. He likes to meet people. Mm -hmm. He gets a chance to hang out. Yeah. He does. He yeah. does. Okay. And so, is he one of the animals that you all have on the eco bus? Tell us a little bit about when you go in the community, what you yep. all do. So tonight we have about three species. We have a few turtles and the snake, but we usually have over 35 species of indigenous and um, non native animals um, that we show and we have them in all the cages and all set up um, and we go to local libraries local schools any kind of big function that you would like to have us at we come on out and uh, give people a taste of the outdoors right in their homes so really our point is to educate um, you know future generations and this generation now just on the value of the outdoors um, get people comfortable with things that they would see in their backyard every day and it's a really great place to hang out and educate and see people's reactions wow. <laughs> to this kind yeah. of thing. Because <laughs> I didn't know if it was real or not, because the owl right oh, behind yeah. you threw me just a right, little bit. Yeah. But he's yeah. cute. He's watching out for everything. But as far as the community is concerned, mm -hmm. um, you're kind of busy. I see um, here at Chick-fil-A. Yeah. How do you choose the location? You said, um, can people contact you? Yep. The mm -hmm. yep. We have a full contact information. People okay. really, they contact us. We never go to people. People wow. want us. Uh -huh. And um, this is a pretty typical night. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit busier. We'll have lines all the way out the door. Wow. Yeah. So it's great. And uh, especially this age, like, uh, elementary school really right. get a kick out of this kind of stuff so I know I hate I was gonna bring my daughter tonight but I didn't know and she probably would have been petting yeah <laughs> the black rat snake that's what it's called yep okay yep. I've never seen a black rat snake but he, yeah he's cute I, I, I think I might want to try do you think he would come to me or do you, you want to try I don't know Let's I said see. it but I don't know do you think maybe give it a try here you can hold him right there Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, yeah. See, he likes you. He likes me. Oh, oh, gosh. Nope. <laughs> okay. We're half and half. He likes you better. <laughs> hey, you. I'm sorry. You're my friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll just crawl all over he'll you. He'll just crawl. Okay. Yeah. All he's right. really good. 
okay. I don't even know what else to say, but okay and all right. Okay, how long have you all had him? How old is he? He's about, I am 16 years old. Oh, he's pretty old. <laughs> you a fresh yeah, little thing. Yeah, he's pretty old, so he's used to doing this kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. And all the animals that we have are rescue animals. So we oh, bring he's a rescue bus. animal. Okay, yep. all right. Well, I've had my thrill for tonight, so okay, Black Resnick, I'm going to send you back. Yes, boy. Yes, okay. Um. So this looks like a lot of fun, but I guess the key takeaway is you're bringing this bus in the community to do what, if you could summarize it for everyone? I really think it's to promote experiential learning and get mm. people outdoors and, you know, experiential learning, hands-on activities are really up and coming and what, you know, these generations really thrive for. Um, so just educating and giving people a new experience and new things that they wouldn't normally see. Um, is really what we aim towards. And shooting them to hold a snake, maybe, if they're afraid of snakes or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Not. A lot of people come in afraid, and then by the end, they're petting them and wow. sometimes holding them. So. And I know there were about three or four that petted while yeah. we were standing here, so yeah. that is so cool. Yeah. Well, I thank you so much, You're Julia. Welcome. It's very, very informative, and I can't yeah. wait to kind of go to the back of the bus to see what yeah. else we have going on. Yep. So thank you for everything. You're welcome. Yeah. And now I'm back here with Neil. Okay, Neil, I just touched a snake. I'm excited though. And I'm so interested to know this bus is so cool. Tell me a little bit about, you know, the process if someone wants to contact you all to get this bus out to a community event or a business. What's that process like? Um, the process is basically, um, you can look us up. We have a website um, and uh, we have an uh, environmental educator. He's not with us tonight, but okay. um, he takes all of our, uh, our inquiries of people that want to use the bus. And he's Michael Romano at greensboro-nc.gov. Okay. And um, you can also contact him at 373-7620. Wow. Or you can call Lake Brandt at 373-3741. Mm -hmm. um, we like to book stuff right now in the wintertime because we're actually in a slow period and um, we tend to take the bus out more. Okay. Schools are in session and it's a good time. And that's what I was going to ask you as well too. When's the busiest time of the year? Is it when it gets warmer or this cold time? You said it's now. Um, a lot of the stuff we do in the summertime, we'll do a lot of festivals and things like that. Gotcha. But during okay. the winter, the fall and the spring, we will actually do a lot of school stuff. Okay. Um, working with students while they're in school. While they're in school. Mm -hmm. And I saw you in action. You're mm -hmm. good. You're good. Thank you. What's the most rewarding? rewarding thing would you say about being here in the evening chick-fil-a is calling my name so i'm sure it's calling your name too since we're in the parking lot mm -hmm. why are you here doing this what um it's actually it? a really good program tonight we're doing a native species program um mm. and we're talking to kids about animals that they would see in their backyard um we try and teach kids you know not to be afraid of certain animals mm -hmm. how to handle animals how to leave them alone okay. um things like that we all live together in you know a system of life and it's important that kids understand that uh, most of these animals are not dangerous. Um, they live in their neighborhoods um, and they need to be uh, respected and um, I guess, you know, just left alone and not to be scared of them. Wow. For instance, the black snake, which we walk around with, oh, yeah. um, we really want to promote uh, people from not killing black snakes. People tend to have a natural fear of black snakes. Um, by getting the kids on the bus and actually getting them to touch the snake, mm -hmm. get to know the snake. When they go out into the woods, they know it's a black snake, yes. all right? They know that they don't have to run away from it. They know they have to leave it alone mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, but they know that they don't have to be afraid of it. Um, the other animal that we like to talk a lot about are the other reptile is our, our turtle Wally. He's a box mm -hmm. turtle. Mm -hmm. um, we teach kids not to pick up box turtles, to right. leave them where you found them. They're becoming increasingly rare. People take them home as pets. Um, very important. Uh, is that Wally? Oh uh, no, Wally is right over here. Would you like me to get Wally? Okay, I can sure. grab Wally. Yep, oh, Wally is right here. If I held the black rat snake, I you guess can I hold could Wally, see Wally. Yeah. And he's an eastern box turtle, and you'd okay. find him in the woods of North Carolina. Where is um, he? Is he hiding? He's hiding. That's why they call him a box turtle because he can actually oh, seal himself up. I okay, see him. and that's how Hello. he protects himself. He um, likes me. He does like you. Hey, Wally. He likes everybody though. He's a good guy. Um, but uh, Wally is uh, becoming increasingly rare in the forest because people like to keep him as a pet. Um, the thing with box turtles is once you remove them from their immediate habitat, mm -hmm. you can't stick them in another forest because they are always looking for their home. They like to nest 
where they were born and they stay in that general area. So removing them from their habitat is not a good thing. Um, box turtles, the number one killer of these guys, is not only people picking them up and taking them home, but in addition, railroad tracks. We ask oh, people wow. if they see them stuck in between railroad tracks, mm -hmm. that they'll actually determine the direction that the box turtle's going and then give them a little assist outside you. the tracks. Wow, mm -hmm. he is adorable. Hey, mm -hmm. Wally, I'm going to have to leave guy. you, Wally. Let's see if we can get him rolling. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Hey, Wally. Oh, I'm sorry, you keep ducking at me. He I'm usually cool. is coming around. Well, Neil, I tell you, this has been exciting. I have held the black rat snake. Mm -hmm. I think I got it right. I met Wally. And I just thank you, as I thank Julia so much for everything oh, yeah. you do. And everyone, that is how Greensboro works, and specifically here at the EcoBus at Friendly Center. That's how the EcoBus works tonight, too.